What's up? What's up? Excuse me. Oh, okay. Well, that just came out of nowhere. Well, I guess I'm. <laughs> the conversation is shifting. Still, still speaking on what I came on to speak on, but something added a little to it. Uh, that added part, Holy Spirit wants me to say first, a famine. Okay? Because that's not what I plan to get on here to talk about. But as soon as I cut on the camera, Holy Spirit said that to me. Famine. Famine. So... Whether people like to believe it or not, you know, we are in what the old folks used to call back in the day, the last days, right? The end times, okay? This is, we are in, presently in the end times, okay? It's evident. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. None, okay? And I spoke on a famine, right? I, I've, I've spoken on this for the last... Help me out, Holy Spirit. When, when's the first time I mentioned it? Last June, July, right? And over time, the Holy Spirit would come pop back up and come back, you not know, pop back up, but the Holy Spirit will reiterate famine, right? Remember when Joseph in the Bible, right? Remember when Joseph became the uh what what second in in power in Egypt, right? Second or third in power in Egypt and he was in control of well God forewarned him that a famine would be coming, right? And gave him instructions so that everyone in the land and in surrounding lands would be taken care of, right? They would come from faraway lands to come to Egypt, to Joseph, right? To, um, you know, gain things that they need. Food, grain, life, you know, livestock, whatever. And that was due to a famine, right? That was due to a famine, all right? There is about, oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so this has something to do with the, it's connected to the blackout as well. And I'm hearing three days of darkness as well. So these events are connected. Okay. I can't tell you how. Well, because the famine that happened around the land of Egypt, and it was around the land of Egypt. It wasn't Egypt itself. So the famine that was around the land of Egypt, okay, that's a marker, right? Egypt. Three days of darkness was in Egypt. Okay. Famine. Three days of darkness. There's one more. There's one more. What did, did I just say? Famine, three days of darkness. What else? What, what, what did I... It'll come back, it'll come back. But my point is that these things are connected, right? Some way, somehow, okay? Just like I just said about the famine in Egypt, right? Uh, well, the famine around Egypt, in whatever you wanna say it. The point is that it happened or it's tied Everything was tied to Egypt, okay? Three days of darkness happened in Egypt, right? That famine 
that happened all all around the lands bordering Egypt, right? These people had to come to Egypt to get what they needed, right? Egypt being the common denominator, right? So in the same sense, What is to come in these end times is similar to that. You get what I'm saying? It's similar in some way, shape, or form. I don't know how yet. But the three days of darkness, um, that famine, okay, that I've been speaking about. Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt. Egypt. America is spiritual Egypt. And it's also depicted, wait a minute, it's also depicted that this used to be Egypt because of the pyramids, right? That they've been finding everywhere, right? The Grand Canyon, right? Uh, 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 Mount Rushmore, there is a Sphinx. There's a Sphinx. On Ra Mount Rushmore. Those of you who know what I'm talking about and have seen it before, yeah, right? So it has to do with the uncovering of something that's been hidden for a very long time. Now I'm hearing history, his story, history, his story. Anyway, let me stay on task here. It's connected in some way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna figure that out. Y'all know me. <laughs> I'm an investigator. I'll figure it out. But God has been leading us to our soul tribes, right? Still is, right? And this is an amazing thing, okay? Um. Because in our soul tribes, right, we will have these, everybody will have certain responsibilities, right? 12 tribes of Israel, right? Everybody had a certain sector. Everybody had a certain job to do, okay? And to take care of one another, right? These people that are still asleep and they refuse to be awakened, well, they're going through awakenings, right? Forced awakenings because of... The judgment that's falling upon them, right? Doesn't mean that they're going to change, right? But there's a reason God is gathering us the way that he is, okay? And I'm hearing I will do a new, I will do a new thing. Shall you not perceive it? Shall you not know it? There is coming a time, okay? There is coming a time where desolation will be across the land, okay? There will come a time where people will have to hunt their food. Yeah, hunt their food, live in the wild, okay, in the wilderness, all right? That time is coming, and shall I say is upon us, but not quite, not yet, but the... That. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy Spirit said Mad Max. Mad Max. You guys remember the movie Mad Max, right? You guys remember how it was in that movie? Okay. Similar to that. All right. Similar to that. This world's going to be unrecognizable. Okay. Unrecognizable. Holy Spirit's giving me a depiction of a, uh, he's showing me um, a mirage, right? It's like the fabric of this 
this synthetic matrix that we're in. It's like a mirage around us. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. 10, 10 on my timer. And there's coming a day. Well, even, even now, it's breaking down slowly, right? So think about a mirage. You see a mirage in the distance, right? You see the, the waves from the heat moving, right? You think you see a mirage. I mean, you think you see an oasis and you're running towards it. And then as you get closer and closer, that mirage falls down or it starts to fade away. Right? Or that oasis starts to fall or fade away. Why? Right? Because it's a mirage. Right? It's not really there. And now I'm here now I'm hearing. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words will never pass away. Ooh, Lord, what are you doing? The matrix that we are in. Okay? This synthetic environment. The things around us are going to start to dwindle. 1111 on my timer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God, the connection is so... Mm. Boy, the confirmation, the connection, double confirmation. The connection is so much more potent. I'm telling you, cause I'm, I'm, the way the Holy Spirit's giving this to me, it's like, ah, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. But it, it, anyway, things are falling right now. Things are fading away, right? The things that have no foundation. The things that, if shaken will fall, right? The heavens and the earth is being shaken. Okay? It's being shaken. And whatever can fall will fall. One, uh, 12 or 3 on my timer. Whatever can fall will fall. That is not built on a steady and firm foundation. And that's the Lord's foundation. 12, 12 on my timer. That's God's foundation. Okay? If, if, if God is not the center in the, in, the, in, the, in the pillars of your foundation, there is none. 12, 30 on my timer. 1, 2, 3. If God is not interwoven in any and everything that you do, it's going to fall. It's going to fall. That's like the saying, if anything can go wrong, it will. Hmm, yeah. Whatever does not have a steady foundation. A foundation that's built upon lies, manipulation, stealing, killing, destroying. It's coming down. It's coming down. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That's the Lord right there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so the Lord's showing me when he, the part in the Bible where he was speaking. Thank you. Okay, okay. Confirmation. The Lord is showing me the part in the Bible where he, I'm seeing the land is what I'm seeing. Desolate. Billows of smoke. Okay, and he's talking to the disciples and he's telling them, do you see these, these buildings, right? Not one stone, I'm paraphrasing here, not one stone will be upon another, right? Something like that, or every stone Everything will be laid bare. Okay? I'm trying to get the, the, the chapter and the verse in, in my mind, but I can't grasp it right now. Right? But it's the part where Jesus says, like, there will be no stone that is unturned. Right? It's a part in the Bible. Maybe you guys can fill in the blanks in, in, in the comment section, but he was talking about the pillars and the buildings that were uh, upon one another, right? How they will be laid flat and bare and that no stone will go unturned. Okay? This 
It's what's happening now. In the end times. No stone is going unturned. Everything that has been built on top of each other, lies, manipulation, fabrication, it's being laid bare. And no stone is going to go unturned. Nothing will be hidden. Everything will be revealed. I mean, it's called revelation after all. The book of revelation. To reveal. There's coming a time. Okay. Where this land is going to be desolate. All right. That's why there's been a separation going on right now. Right? The wheat and the tares. Right? Because God is going to burn the tares. Okay? 16, 16 on the timer. He's taking the wheat and putting it in the storehouse. Which is us. Okay? Or however that verse goes. Y'all know. Y'all know what I'm saying. But in this... When this time comes, right, we will all be in our tribes together, right, in one place, just like back then, okay? That's what God's doing. He's gathering us from the four, his angels are gathering us from the four corners of this earth where, where our ancestors were scattered to, right? Our bloodlines were scattered to. And we're all being drawn back to God and to each other, right? So this is going to be exemplary. I don't know what I did that word, but what am I trying to say here? We are all going to be together in one place. Okay, of course, God is taking care of us. He was, he's always going to take care of us, right? But the world, the world is going to be running on this beast system, okay? This new age beast system, okay? This antichrist system, right? And this should be about the time where you know, everybody's got chips in their right hands or in their forehead, right? This will be about that time, right? Although it's happening slowly now. The time I'm speaking of, it will be in people's hands, foreheads, in stores. You'll be able to pick up one at a corner store. You'll be able to get one implanted at the gas pump. You, you, know, you see what I'm saying? It's a great divide. Okay? It's a great divide that is happening and that is going to happen. And God is making a great distinction on who belongs to him and who does not. Who he knows and has a relationship with and who he does not. Okay? So beloved, I'm sure this is just your confirmation because I I'm I I know for sure that the Lord's been telling you about this famine that's coming. I know for sure he has. Okay? Because it's coming. It's coming. Okay? And we are going to be in plenty, right? We'll we'll be plentiful. We'll be pff, ripe, okay? But there are those that we are going to need to be assisting and helping and taking care of, right? While this is going on, because it, uh, let's just be honest about it. There's going to be a lot of chaos and devastation and, and just craziness going on, right, in the world. 
So, God is gathering us all together, right? Then he's going to move us all to one place, right? And then we are going to be the world's caretakers, basically. I mean, that's what we do now, right? But on a whole different level. Right? There'll be a lot more things in the physical that are going on, in the 3D that are going on, right? As well as the spiritual, right? But it happens in the spiritual first and then it manifests in the 3D. So whatever is manifested in the 3D, then already happened in the spiritual, okay? So just keep this in, and I keep reiterating it. Holy Spirit keeps wanting me to reiterate it. Keep, do not, do not forget about this famine that people are speaking on. Okay, that's coming. All right, there's three days of darkness that not a, not a lot of people are speaking on. Okay, twenty one twelve on the timer. But other than myself, I know of maybe one other child of God, chosen one that constantly speaks on the three days of three days of darkness. Uh, Sister Carrie Ann. Sister Carrie Ann, I forgot her last name. But if you guys know, you know, right? Her channel, Sister Carrie Ann, shout out, shout out, sis. Uh, but uh, man, man, amazing woman of God, amazing, amazing. Okay, uh, check her, check her ministry out because I'm, I'm, it's amazing, and she's funny, <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the only per other person that I have heard speak on the three days of darkness. Okay. And maybe maybe the Lord's just giving certain people to, to to speak about it, right? But know that these things are coming, okay? This was one of the plagues in Egypt. When God was telling the Pharaoh to let his people go and he refused. So it wasn't too too long after the first few times that he told Pharaoh to let his people go. That's a nugget. It wasn't too it wasn't too far after after that. 2244 on the timer. So I'll leave it there, beloved. I don't want to get y'all mixed up, okay? Um I love y'all. Alright. I'll holla at y'all. Alright, I'm about to <laughs> do some more research. You know me. <laughs> All right. All right. I love y'all. I'll let y'all later. Love it. Oh, excuse me. All right. Peace.